How you doing tonight? Haven't seen you in a while Let's go to this place, I'll drive I'm so into you, no lie Baby, way you dress, baby Been grinding so much, think I'm going crazy But now I'm with you, everything is gravy On a buzz, now I slip Feel it, feeling, feeling so crisp Pull up for I about to take a rip so I'm going to be doing a talk through tutorial for you guys today. I haven't done one in a while, but the one that I did do, you guys seem to really like it. So I'm going to do, I'm going to try to do more of these. This eye look though, you guys, like it's literally so easy when I was like doing it because I was like, oh, I'm going to do one eye first to make this tutorial go faster so it's not super long, right? Five minutes. It took me five minutes and I was like... I guess I could have done both eyes on camera, my bad. But I do still have some powder on this half of my face just to catch fallout so I don't have to worry about that because my complexion is already done. And I am gonna have an updated foundation routine coming soon too. I'm trying new things. My skin has changed since moving to LA, so yeah, whatever. But let's go ahead and get started with this look. So I'm gonna be using my modern renaissance palette of course it is legit one of my holy grails i'm so anxious for the makeup by mario palette to come out because i do want to get it i'm so sad i had the chance to buy it like two weeks ago and i didn't do it and i'm regretting it right now i'm gonna oh i forgot my mirror maybe you know that might be helpful oh it's right there okay perfect close so i'm starting off i'm gonna mix burnt orange and real guard together this is gonna act as my transition color. I'm using the Sephora Collection Pro Blending Brush. And I like this one because it's nice and fluffy. You guys know I use this all the time in every single video, never changes. But because I have a straighter brow, I am going to fill out that space. So my transition color, instead of keeping it in this central area, I'm pulling it out here too because I have all that extra space. And otherwise, if I just kind of keep it here, it's going to look weird. So just kind of play with your eye shape and your brow shape. Just like that. It's a little bit of fallout there. That's okay. That's what we got our powder on. And I'm using the RCMA Colorless Powder. You guys, this powder is so bomb. It's like five bucks or something at Namie's, but life. It is life. With a clean, well this one's not clean obviously because there's product on it, but I have two of the Sephora Collection Pro blending brushes. So, actually I have more than two, but you know, I'm using two for this video because I love this brush. But I'm gonna pick up the shade Love Letter. I'm gonna pop that right into the crease as well. I'm gonna blend it up a little bit higher into the transition. We're doing the same thing, kind of playing up the shape of the eye. But I'm not going as high up as I did with our transition color. But this one is a little denser than the first one that I used. And that's just because this one's newer. So it's not as well loved, you know what I mean? <laughs> now I'm going to take Venetian Red. I'm going to focus this directly in the eye socket. But I'm still using that Pro Blending Brush. Oh, poke myself in the eye, what the heck? I come through for the blending slate. So it looks like that. With Cypress Umber, I'm gonna take the Elf Pro Blending Brush and place that right on the outer corner, like only on the outer corner, taking it slightly into the crease. But I just want it mostly on the outer corner of the eye to create some smokiness. You guys don't understand. I've literally had this brush since I was 15 years old. I'm 22. Since I was 15. Seven years, bro. Like, this ain't gonna blend for you, but like, it'll definitely pack some color on. Like, I'm trying to blend. Before I knew, like, what a blending brush really was supposed to do, in high school, I would do all of my eyeshadow looks with those blending brushes, thinking, like, I was really blending, like... Weird. Weird. 
wear. Mm -hmm. So I'm going back over with the same Sephora blending brush. I don't have any added product. I'm just going over to blend the Cypress Umber. I'm gonna pack on more of the Cypress Umber in the outer corner. I just want it really concentrated. Like, can I do that? Like, is that fine? Dang little circular motions, LMJ. It's like falling everywhere with the hecky. That shade has a lot of fallout. You see this? It's like fallout central right there, dog. Like what? So blend, blend, blend. What song is that? Na, 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 na. That's the song. Na, 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 ah, oh, I need to know song that is. I'm gonna look it up. That's what I'm gonna do. But comment down below too. It's probably I'm probably about to use it as an instrumental for this tutorial. Tutorial for this tutorial. So because I'm so impatient, I'm gonna brush away this fallout because it gets, I hate it. I just hate seeing fallout on the face. Like, it just irritates me. But I'm not brushing away heavily yet because I don't want to remove all the powder because I'm not done with the eye look. Like I'm still gonna have more fallout. But I just hate seeing it. Now with my Morphe M169, I'm gonna take Cypress Umber right on the lower lash line. Okay, so now with the same Morphe brush, I'm going to take Venetian Red and go right underneath it. Oh, that's what I forgot to add. I knew that, okay, I forgot a color. Hold on. I knew something was missing. So with the Sephora blending brush, because I was like, there's something off about this. Like, the color's not even. I'm going to take Red Ochre. I'm going to pop that right into the crease. That's what I forgot to do. I was like there's something so off. The colors aren't exactly the same. There we go. Now they're the same. Okay. So now I'm gonna take real garb on the same Morphe brush. And I'm not gonna go all the way up to the lash line. I'm placing it right underneath the, where the colors are fading. And I'm gonna blend that and connect it to all of this smokiness that we have going on over here. So that way it's a nice pretty halo around my eye. Someone's gonna hate me, they'll be like, shut up. <laughs> no. <laughs> so now I'm gonna take my Venus 2 palette from Lime Crime. Is that, is that pigeon? Does that say pigeon? Or is that pig on? The color is called pigeon. So I'm gonna take pigeon, and I'm gonna pick that up on a Morphe M178. It's like, M170-8, get fancy, come correct with name, okay. So I'm gonna first place it dry, only on the lid. It's this really pretty like teal color. And I want you guys to notice, I'm not going over top of the darker brown color. I'm letting them meet. Hi, nice to meet you. I'm Pigeon. Nice to meet you. I'm Cypress Umber, Ma. What's good? <laughs> okay, sorry. Sorry. <laughs> sorry. I can't help it myself. Now I'm going to foil it with my Fix Plus. You know how I do. Just two little squirts. Like, skirt, skirt. Okay. And then pack this on the lid. Like that. My e.l.f. brush, I'm just going to, where those two colors meet, buff them together. I have no added product on this brush, but I just want to make sure everything is blended. And then with the Sephora blending brush, I'm just going to run that through the crease one last time to make sure everything is well blended. And then I'm going to pop the color called Fly on my inner tear duct. It's also out of the Lime Crime Venus palette. Got me over here looking like a watermelon dream. Yes. Actually, I think I'm going to foil it. Yeah. I like that better. There we go. Okay. Lashes are on. And now we're ready to dust this powder off of our face. So I'm just gonna dust away all the excess powder. And then what I did on this side is I kind of intensified my contour. And 
I used the shade Mud out of the Lime Cram Venus 2 palette. So that's what I'm gonna do on this side. Just like that, yeah. And the color that we actually use in our tear duct, the shade Fly. I'm gonna use that as our highlight on the face. So, big fluffy fan brush, I don't know the deal. Highlight. And now let's do our lip color. So of course, some brown now. I used to use cork and bittersweet from Mac, but you know what? This is a dollar. I just like have to lift myself up so you guys can see my lips <laughs> when I do this part. So like that. I'm gonna take Teddy Bear Velveteen from Lime Crime. And then I'm gonna take Midi from ColourPop, just in the center. Center, why did I say it like that? <laughs> just in the center, <laughs> center. Mmm, luscious lip puppy. So I'm gonna take, I don't know, it's a lip gloss from MAC. It was from the, the, the Surf Sub collection, I think it was called, like a year ago or something. This one's called Girl on Board. It looks scary, but it's actually super pretty. Like. If you're chocolate, you'd probably be like, oh, I can't wear that. Girl, yes, you can. Don't be afraid, okay? I'm gonna spray some Fix Plus, okay? And let me do my hair. Hey you guys, this is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to comment, subscribe because you know it's free. So you know ain't no money coming out your pocket or whatever. And don't forget to share so that all the chocolate girls around the world can learn how to slay like a weasel. You know, you know, you know. <laughs> but um, yeah, thank you so much for watching. As always, stay beautiful. I'll catch you guys next Sunday. Bye.